Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and this one as you can see I have got my MT-09 between my legs <laughs> um, and I'm going to do a bit of commuting now the way I'm going to review this bike is I'm going to put it through some trials uh, the first one which is today is trial by commuting so basically I'm just going to take this bike through my normal commute which basically entails some motorway riding and um, some filtering, some slow riding and just basically see how good this MT-09 Yamaha performs and as I go along through this month I'm going to do some other trials such as um, trial by the twisties which will be the fun one which I'll go up onto the moors and do a bit of trialling on the nice twisty roads and just see how good it handles and oh all that they've I don't know when they ripped this road up but anyway and then I'll do a trial by walk over well not like walk over I'm not going to walk over the walk around I should say so basically I'll just have a walk around the bike kind of point out some of the good points bad points and I think I might do a trial by motorway as well just to kind of show what that's about so on with the first trial um, I'm in B mode because it's the less of the snitchy modes um, I have been riding this bike just overtake him there we go I have been riding this bike a couple of days now and I have to admit um, standard mode is snitchy but not too bad and A mode is just very snitchy very very snitchy but um, when you're over 30 it's fine it's just the low speed hence why um, I'm in B mode now. Um, like I say, I went for a ride out the other day up on the moors and I had it in A mode all the way. And it was fine when you just basically above 30, 40 and you just go around the bends. It's it's nice, but I tried A mode in, on my commute yesterday and it was horrible. And I mean horrible. Um, very snitchy, especially around this roundabout. Oh, don't want to live that again. So, yeah. B mode is definitely the one for the commuting um, people. <laughs> but like I say, you've still got plenty of power. The power is basically there. It's more than enough for what you need while commuting on a bike. Um, you don't need any more, basically. Um, but yeah, the riding position yet again is great. Um, you're sitting right above all the traffic, so basically you can see what's in front of you, which is always a help. Um, and as you can see, I've also um, ordered the weather in today because my tests are thorough and I decided a little drizzle just to add a bit of realism to my test ride would do, so I ordered that and uh, they got it straight to me, or otherwise the weathermen would be shocked. Uh, yeah, so the ergonomics of this bike are great, I love them. Um, my legs are nicely tucked in with the tank design, um, so they're nice and warm out of the way of the, the breeze. Um, my hands are obviously in the way of the the airstream, so they they aren't too cold at the moment actually because I've got a decent set of old gloves on. But you can get little um, hand guards, which to be honest, if you're doing a commute this early in the morning when it's cold, you might actually want. Along with a screen, um, that's one thing about this bike I will have to get when I get some money is a screen because. As soon as you get over 50, 70 is very bad, you start getting buffeted. Now this is just a problem with any naked bike, so I can't really hold that against it. But um, you can get a screen for 60 quid which just fits on the front, so I'll do that when I get a, a moment and some free dosh. Because um, obviously some money's gone into this bike, even though the missus has bought it. Um, I still have to watch the coppers. Um, so yeah, um, like I say, great little bike here. Uh, miles per gallon. Um, yesterday I was averaging 62, uh, which is great. Um, and that's stop-go traffic and um, filtering and everything else, so can't really argue with that, can you? And it's also free through the tunnel. Which has more to do with me, like, because I doubt if many of will actually go through the time tunnel. But it's one of those little things, you know. But another thing when I'm on the commute um, that I like to take into account of is how fun it is to ride. And that's, don't get me wrong, the commute is a very boring thing. You're basically commuting to your work. It's boring. So the one bit of time you want a bit of fun hey, is on the motorway. Or you commute to work, which is always a always a blast. You've moved over, thank you. Oh, look at that drizzle. What's that? Ooh, beamer. Now, moving on to motorway riding. Like I say, um, 
when you're doing motorway speed you do get buffeted around a bit um, but like I say a naked bike that's going to be what you expect however there is some ups my legs are well and truly covered by the tank because basically where the tank's formed my legs are nicely tucked in so my legs are you cannot feel any buffeting on the legs which is a bonus um, so yeah, that, that is a good thing, because on the GS, the way that's shaped is my legs are right in the, the actual stream of things. I'll let him out. It's not going to go quick. So, we're coming up to the next test, which is filtering, which is basically one of the main reasons why you ride a bike to work. So you can cut through the traffic and laugh at all the people in their cars, like I'm going to do now. Ha 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 I'm beating you. Yes, um, so like I say, this bike has a very dominant position um, when you're sitting on it. You're very upright, as I would class as the meerkat stance. So you're up with your, your arms out in front of you, just surveying the land and who's going to pull out on you next. Um, like I say, this bike is really thin compared to the size it is like the good thing is like I say you look at the tank and the tank looks big when you look at it but because it tapers down just watch you because it actually tapers down and actually your legs are tucked in on it it's actually very narrow um, the even widest part of this bike is the handlebars so if you can get your handlebars through a gap you can get the whole bike through a gap which is a bonus because the main reason the exhaust took out, tucked under the engine so you don't have to worry about catching the exhaust and basically the seat's very thin as well on the back end so you have no worries and also it's very nimble um, if you lean this bike ooh, ooh, we've, got a, we've got a bus doing a bit of a lane change there but like you say it's very nimble so I can just you know just transfer my weight slightly and it's over just because of how high I'm sitting up literally you just have to move your body ever so slightly and this bike just turns it's it's very nice oh thank you red band man you gotta like it when they do that very helpful but yeah um, absolutely no problems and like I say in B mode oh, thank you in B mode is where you want to be on this because if standard I think you could get away with but if you want A mode just pull the front because he's going to be completely not a cock um, if you want A mode try to go through the traffic and you needed that little bit extra throttle that snitchiness could make it slightly uncontrollable because like I say when you don't get me wrong, I'm not class... It, well, what shall I say? It is a downside, but I'm not classing it as a big one. It's not something that's making us dislike the bike. It's just one of its qualms, which all bikes have. Um, if I want a nice smooth ride... Aha! Is that... No, no, that's a Honda. I was going to say there's another MT, but it's not it's a Honda. Like I say, all bikes have got the qualms. And like I say, B mode has got more than enough power. I think it's around about 10, 10 horsepower down, because it doesn't let you rev the engine as high, I think from what I've read anyway but um, yeah and then if you want some speed wah, oh, miss that gear I'm still getting used to the gearbox in this gearbox is as smooth as anything smooth as butter which is a very good thing actually when you commute because you don't want to be sitting there trying to ma mess around with the gears we'll just have a look at my miles per gallon now I'm doing 66 miles per hour and I'm doing 76 miles to the gallon I'm actually not throttling there, so that might be a bit cheating. And I'll get onto this bit of road up here and I'll do a bit of a constant acceleration. That'll give us a, a more accurate uh, miles to the gallon. And so we'll just go there. Just nice. Oh, and the sound. Can't get over the sound. Some people have Weetabix in the morning to wake them up. I have a triple. <laughs> this thing gets you very energised for the day. I would say, yes. So, I'm there, I'm on the throttle, and I'm doing 78.3 miles per gallon. That's 65. Can't go wrong there. And like I say, the average mile per gallon I got on my queue yesterday was 62. Taking into account my Suzuki Swift Sport, which I use to commute, gets 33. <laughs> so, I make quite a bit of saving just taking the bike into work. Yeah, filtering I can check off. Now that was the first slot of traffic. The next one is the time tunnel traffic jam. 
Actually, you know what, there's, there's a bit of a traffic jam around here. Um, I forgot what you call this junction, but this this is leading up to the Tyne Tunnel. The Tyne Tunnel is the one where it's um, very long, fast, um, cutting through the traffic. I say it fast, it's about 30 mile an hour, but you know, it's, it's about the top end of your filtering speed, or the speed you're meant to do while filtering, so, yeah. So, over. So, to recap on filtering. The riding position makes it great to see what's ahead of you. You're not lying over the tank. Uh, handlebars being the widest part of that bike, I'll just go past you, means you can actually judge quite easily if you're going to fit through a gap. If the handlebars fit through, you're going to fit through. No worries. And how nimble this bike is, if you need to get through small gaps quickly, you can. And you can also throttle away from lights very quickly to beat the arsehole at the front, who normally tries to overtake you. Which I didn't do. This is a nice bit, listen. Oh. <laughs> I keep missing the gear. It's in between second and third. <laughs> but uh, like I say, I'll get used to that. It's just because it's a very... Um, the gear shifts um, the throws quite a bit more than the other ones, so what I'm used to anyway. So, coming up to here, we'll just cut through. The this is showing how nimble this bike is. We'll just cut through there. I am not going to fit through that gap, so I'll just cut through there. And then straight on. See, that just shows how nimble this bike is. Just literally had no problems, had no worries there. It was just sound. It feels seated in slow manoeuvring. Good bike. Now, if I was in standard mode, that would have been a tad bit tricky. Ooh, you're not going to move over for me. Just quick rev. <laughs> Bastard. Um, I don't like when they do that because they've got plenty of room either side, but they just don't move over. I like this guy here. He's like, yep, I'll just sneak over. In air mode, you wouldn't have been able to do that. It would have been to snitch your end. Well, you would have been, but um, your arse would have been eating the seat, which is always a nice thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. But like I say, lovely bike to commute on, um, and I think I'll be doing more often. I've got the GS actually. My me, me idea is I'm going to use the GS to commute and um, have this as my fun bike, but um, I'm trying to get some miles on the clock for the running, so that's why I'm doing this. God, he's a bit far over. There we go. Now, the next trial, which is, you know, one I have to do, you utter cock. Just give him a bit of a rev. Bloody cock. I'll stand here until you let me in my... in... 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 The way of you. Oh, this. Oh, this might be. This might be a good thing because there's there's a tanker going in the tunnel. I was hoping for a nice quick um, thing out here. Yeah, I can get in front now. Can I just sneak in front? I might be able to sneak in front. Yeah, I'll stay here. Now I was going to do trial by tunnel, but this has hindered that quite a bit because I can't do any fast acceleration because they won't let you go above a certain speed or close to the tankers in case they explode. Yeah. So like I say, th this is a great opportunity to show B mode anyway. Um, I'm doing, well, 16 mile an hour, smooth as anything. I'm going downhill as well so um, kind of the engine is doing a bit of braking for me. Like I say, no problem whatsoever in B mode. In the future, I might see if I can either get it remapped or get like a piggyback um, ECU for just to take it out of um, standard and A, as in the snitchiness out of standard and A, because uh, it would be nice to have standard and A mode being usable at like below 30 mile an hour. But like I say, that doesn't put me off the bike. I still love the bike and this kind of commuting like this just shows how good the bike is at slow speed. You just have to pull the clutch in and select B mode. Now I know some people that is a deal breaker for them but it doesn't take that much effort to switch it into bloody B mode, I'm sorry. Yamaha definitely has a decent bike here, a decent bike. Which I can't really argue with. <laughs> a bit of fun. 
Um, another thing, just to, if, if you like me and you wake up early in the morning, um, this is another thing you have to consider. This bike is very quiet. Well, it's not very quiet, it's actually got a nice sound, but if you've got the standard exhaust on, it is very quiet, so you won't wake your neighbours up. Um, with the uh, Krapovich exhaust on, with the baffle in, it's got a nice deep rumble, which it's loud, but it's not like loud enough to wake your street. It's just a nice rumble. And then when you open the throttle, it then kind of has a bit of a, a bark to it. So if you're getting up early in the morning and want to use your bike without waking the neighbours up, good. This is a good bike. Um, just don't take the baffle out. Um, I haven't had the baffle out on this because I can't get the bloody thing out. I've tried, but I can't because... For some reason the screw's off centre from the hole, so you can't actually get the screw all the way out to remove the baffle. And then suppose the baffles are normally in quite tight anyway. Uh, I'm going to do a trial by tunnel via sound, I'm going to let it back there, and then we're just going to let him go back in. <laughs> Even in B mode it brings a smile to your face, like the, the way this bike delivers its torque. That's another thing, when you commute, and that torque is just so handy to get you out of trouble. No matter what anybody says, having a bit of power underneath you is so much safer than having something that doesn't have any power, because you can just get yourself out of so many situations by power. Which a lot of people don't actually understand, because a lot of people, when something happens, they panic and they put the brakes on. And some of the time putting the brakes on is actually more dangerous than actually throttling out of the situation. So, yeah. But it's just one of those things you have to think in a split second, and not everybody can do that. I've learned, though. I've, I've, I've been in a few situations where I've had to think. It's, it's, it's like um, life or death, but instead of life or death, it's accelerate or brake. It's actually, it is like that. It could be life or death, especially for a biker. Wee. Ooh, we've got a seat Cooper R, who's gonna, I know exactly what he's gonna do, he's gonna try and beat me off the lights, but you can't because they've let me through, ha ha ha. And also the roads are a bit greasy, so I don't want to, I don't want to tempt it. So let's conclude the trial by commuting for this bike, and my overall opinion is it's bloody good. Um, Filtering, it's great on, it's riding position just makes it so intuitive to use when filtering. Um, it's so thin, um, it's easy to filter, because like I say, the handlebars are your biggest point, so if you can get your handlebars through, you can get the rest of the bike through. And it's nimble, um, you can pick your way through traffic like nobody's business, and I've shown that a few times through this commute. You can just literally change your weight slightly and this bike moves, it just spot on, it's what you want. Um, motorway, yet again great, could do with a screen, but like I say, a naked bike can't hold that against it. Um, your legs being tucked in due to the way the tank is, is great because it just takes a lot of that um, wind off your legs and keeps you nice and warm. Which is always, it's, it's nice when you're getting into work and you're not freezing your arse off, it's, that's definitely an up. Makes you ready to work. And then you've also got the fun factor, because like I say, when you're commuting, I like to turn it into a bit of fun. And having this bike, you can have a laugh while commuting, which, to be honest, when you're sitting in the car stuck in traffic, you never do. But to be honest, any bike in a commuting situation, I find fun, because I just love cutting through traffic. So yeah, I think we can call this the first test passed. Um, don't get me wrong, you have to run it in B mode. Um, if you're commuting, put it in B. Um, standard mode you could get away with, but it's still got that little bit of a um, snitchy throttle. Um, but A mode, I would say it is quite a thing to handle in A mode. Like I said, I did it yesterday, uh, just to try it out and give myself like a good kind of understanding of what each mode does and how I can use it in different situations. And A mode, while I was commuting, was uh, it was bad. Um, and especially around a slow roundabout, because literally a few times the throttle, I literally just moved it a bit and the bike jumped. But, like I say, that's not making us dislike the bike. I just think A mode is for other situations, such as trial by twisties, um, which I'm hoping to do this weekend if the weather's nice. And, um, yeah. So without further ado, like I say, watch this series because I'm going to put this bike through a lot more trials and um, we'll get a decent overall review. And um, 
to pick, well, the good thing about doing the views like this is if you just want the bike to pute or just want the bike on the twisties, you can just watch that review. And that's my whole idea of it. You don't have to watch a whole review on everything, you can just watch a review on one thing. And then at the end, I'll do an overall review. So, yeah. So, without further ado, um, keep safe, ride safe as always, and I shall see you soon.